In our list of snorkeling safety, the number one safety tip is to stop and look before you get in the water. You'd be surprised how much you can learn about waves, currents, wind, and snorkeling conditions just by making observations. Take a look here. Standing up on a hill, I can see the entire area and get a good sense of what's going on. This is a fairly sheltered area from the waves, but it doesn't mean that there aren't strong currents. There's a wave break here and another here, but no break here. There is a reef here and another here, but not one here. I have a strong suspicion that there might be a strong current heading in this direction, so I'll be aware of that before getting in. When you stand from an elevated position and observe for just a minute, you can learn a lot about the area. Next, never go snorkeling alone. Always have a buddy. Before you get in, agree on buddies, make sure everyone knows who their buddy is, and visualize your buddy every 30 seconds. That might sound excessive, but currents can separate you and your buddy very quickly without you even noticing. So every 30 seconds, make sure you have visual contact with your buddy. Only swim to the ability of your weakest swimmer and don't overestimate your own skills. You might be a great swimmer in a pool, but the ocean is entirely another animal. Next, if the weather looks questionable, don't go out. Check the radar and anticipate changing conditions. You don't want to be stuck snorkeling during a flash storm. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. I post a variety of videos so you just never know what the next one will be about. Go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss any. Moving on, don't skimp out on cheap snorkeling equipment. Buy or rent a quality mask, snorkel, and fins. Know how to use them correctly and be sure you have anti-fogging solution. You don't want to be distracted with a fogged up or leaky mask or painful fins or a snorkel that lets salt water in. These distractions not only make it uncomfortable, but also make for an unsafe experience. Next, avoid murky water. If you can't see well, not only will you not have fun, but there can be dangers that you don't know are there. Ocean predators tend to lurk in murky water, so just avoid it altogether. Speaking of ocean predators, avoid snorkeling at dawn or dusk. Just don't do it. Instead, just sit and enjoy some breakfast or watch a nice sunset from the beach instead. Just don't go out at dawn or dusk. Next, watch out for rip currents. A rip current should be able to be identified by seeing a shallow area of water with a deeper channel of water in between. Here on this image, you can see the two shallow areas of water on either side with a deeper channel in between. You can literally see the water going back into the ocean at higher speeds. This is important to know and stay away from because you can quickly be swept out into the ocean. If you get caught into a rip current, don't try to fight it. Swim parallel to the shore until you exit the rip current and then you can swim safely back in. Don't touch any wildlife or the reefs. Not only can this be dangerous, but you can injure wildlife, provoke aggression, or damage fragile reefs that can take many years to recover. A general rule is to look, but don't touch. Snorkeling is fun and lets you experience a bit of the world that you are not normally part of. Just follow these tips and use common sense and you can explore incredible areas in relative safety. Thank you for watching and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks.